But at the end of the day, a business model that preys on human attention uh, means that we are worth more as human beings and as citizens of this country when we are addicted, outraged, polarized, narcissistic, and disinformed, because that means that the business model was successful at steering our attention using automation. And we are now sitting through the results of 10 years of this psychological deranging process uh, that have warped our national communications and fragmented the Overton window and the shared reality that we need as a nation to coordinate to deal with our real problems, which are existential threats like climate change, the rise of China, pandemic, uh, education, and infrastructure. Um, so long as these companies profit by turning the American conversation into a cacophony, into a kind of Hobbesian war of all against all, because that is the, the business model, again, of not the advertising, but the model of everyone getting a chance to speak and have it go viral to millions of people. So long as that is the promise with personalization, we are each gonna be steered into a different rabbit hole of reality, which Joan uh, will, will, will do such a good job of talking about. Um, if you care about or believe that masks work, you will see infinite evidence that masks work. If you click on a couple articles that say uh, masks don't work, and here's the you know stats in Florida showing that the, the, different, the data was different, uh, you will see infinite evidence that masks don't work. And then we are pitted against each other with this sort of uh, infinite virality uh, where anything that's, that is said can, can go viral. Uh, it, can, it, can told, it can pose a threat to national security uh, in the sense that if Russia or China try to fly a plane in the United States, they'd be shot down by our Department of Defense. But if they try to fly an information bomb into the United States, they're met by a white gloved algorithm uh, from one of these companies that says exactly which zip code would you like to target is the opposite of national security. And we're really sitting at a moment in history where we're transitioning into becoming a digital society. And we kind of already have a Neuralink brain implant for our society. Right now we have two options. We have the Chinese brain implant, which leads to kind of an Orwellian uh, control of thought, mass behavior modification and surveillance. Or we have the Western brain implant that's built on this business model that turns us into a performative culture. Uh, uh, and, you know, there's the Orwellian dystopia or the Aldous Huxleyan uh, Brave New World dystopia in which we fall into a kind of uh, devolvement of amusing ourselves to death, constantly immersed in distractions and unable to focus on our real problems. And so what I really encourage us to think about is someone is going to be controlling the 21st century. Will it be open societies or closed societies? Uh, either we beat China at becoming China in a digital way, which we don't want to do, or we figure out how to be a digital open society that doesn't actually lose to that. Um, that is our task. Either we figure it out or the American experiment uh, may be in question.